Yeah. Look at that bull right there. Look. That's like an alpha and this is like a baby. Yeah, he's getting he's trying to darken. He's waking up. I'm pointing that. Yo, you got up there quick, bro. You got him? Oh yeah. Dang. Dang. That's a big one. That's what we came out here looking for, dude. What's going on, y'all? It's your friend the Iguana Man. We are back at y'all with another video. As you guys seen, we were traveling in the Everglades. We finally reached our destination. And guess what, y'all? We got our friend Tara with us. What's up? How y'all doing? Tara's came a long ways away to join us on this excursion. It's like a six hour drive, six man. Six hour drive. This is this is a very, very special meeting. It's the new year. We're figuring out what haven't we done last year that we want to do this year? What is that? Chameleons. 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 Yep. And monkeys and pythons is our next. Monkeys but and pythons. Chameleons and is like at the top of the list right now. Top of the list, guys. It's been on our bucket list for uh, the longest. Long story short, y'all, I met one of my friends. His name is Matt. And he has agreed to take us on a guided hunt to look for these invasive reptiles. These elusive reptiles that are, from what me and Tara know, are just mythological. Myth they don't even exist. Do they? Do, do they do, exist? Do they? I've never seen do, one. People are saying that they exist out here. We have no idea. So we figured out we might as well contact the expert. Here's our friend, Matt. What's up, Matt? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. There's a chance that we're going to see some chameleons oh, today, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. A pretty high possibility. I've, I've found quite a few out there so far. Quite a few? Quite a quite few. few. How long have you been hunting chameleons for? Uh, I'd, I'd say a couple years. Probably since about 2017. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you know you know a thing or two about where they're at and how to catch them? Yeah, and for all. the most part. I can uh, I can definitely take you out, put you on them, show you how to find them, you know, okay. exactly what the sexes are, okay. how their behaviors are, their diets. Okay, you know? okay, okay. Cool, man. Because yeah. we've never been this far in the Everglades. We're over here yeah. on, the, on the East Coast. It's out so here, man. It's out here. We're totally out of our league right now. So, um, shoot, I guess without further ado, man, we're going to yeah. put our trust in you, all yeah, right, bro? let's do it, brother. Let's get right, to it. Let's get right to it, y'all. All right. Real quick, y'all, joining us on the hunt, too, we got one of our friends, Travis, right here. What's up, Travis? We have we have our friend Josh right here as well. Josh, what's up, boy? How you doing? How are you? How are you? Doing good. And, and you have your lovely girlfriend right here. How are you? What's your Hi, name again? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, and you have your brother. What's up, dude? How's it going, brother? Tanner. Tanner. They, they do a lot of fishing, y'all. Good, bro. No, it's Ooh. bulk activity, but uh, you way up there? Right there. There's a little guy. Oh yeah. Where? Right there. Oh yeah. It's in the middle of that. Yep, that one little bright green leaf right there in the middle. Wow. That's Dinker. That's a little one too. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. Yeet. Ooh. There you go. Get him, Tara. Is it a field or is it a family? Yeah, it's a Ooh. Gotcha. You got him? No way. Oh, he's right there. You didn't see that? No. Little young male. Whoa. Nice. He's <laughs> feisty. No, he's my buddy. Look, I'm going to pet him on the head. He's a stick. Just like that. You just spotted him. You just grabbed him. Wow. First one of the night, y'all. And with the pin light. For real. She didn't even have the high special resolution lights or oh, anything. Yeah. He's, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. He angry. Should I put my finger no, in? No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> don't don't test this gangster, all right? I... Guys, the cat is out of the bag. Look right there. There's got the eye right now. I can't believe I just saw that. Dude, Looking awesome. Pin light. Awesome, 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 awesome. Good job, Tara. First one. Ugh. In the bag. First chameleon, 2022. It's like he's trying to hide behind my hand. Look at him. And he's changing colors too. He was a lot brighter. Yeah, he's black. Oh, yeah. He's, no, he's mad. No, he's, yeah, he's getting. He's trying to darken. He's waking up, stressing out. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, oh man, where's my where's my tree at? Where's my darken? We've been searching for a while. And huge shout out to our guide for the night. Okay, we got our boy Matt right here. He told me, he's like, yeah, he knows a spot that might have a couple chameleons. And lo and behold, y'all, within like the first 10 minutes, we already got our first one in the bag. Look at that. And it's a night, it's a male, right, man? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little juvie male. Oh my god. Even when they're babies, you see that little like nub on their back yeah, foot? The tarsal spur. Yeah, look, even like little bitty babies will have that. Wow. That is incredible. That's actually the one and only true way to sex the chameleon. By that right yeah, there? Yeah, because some females they'll put on assertive colors where they will get bandings and it's like false barring. And it's more so just like a dominance kind of stance, like peacocking, like leave me alone. 
Oh, so, wow. They become what's called non-receptive, where they, once they get bred, they don't want to be around any other chameleon. They want to be solitary until they lay. So they become oh. non-receptive and they show assertive colors. Wow. Okay, first one in the bag. Let's get some more. All right, y'all, we got our boy Travis right here. He has spotted something, okay? He's the man with the plan. He's got a light. It might be just a leaf. It might, it might be a leaf. We don't know. But we are going to investigate it a little further. See what it is. <laughs> what's your... What? <laughs> what? What's, what's something? What? What's something in my hair? I think you got a leaf in your hair. Where? Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, <laughs> just met a new friend. Tara made a new friend. I'm on it. Hey, I'm, I'm the only one that struck out so far. Yeah, you ain't struck out. You hit, you hit a home run basically with that one now. Queen or queen. Yeah, you hit it. Watch yeah. out. Hit a home run now. Check it out, y'all. We are in the middle of the Everglades right now, okay? Looking for the rare and elusive chameleons, okay? Where are they at? So, like I said, we're with our boys right here, man. We, we got our boy Matt. We got our boy Travis, y'all. And they think so, they've spotted something. What, what 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 do you see, Matt? Well, I can see a juvenile. What looks to be female. I think that's gonna be a little female right there. Right, right there. Wow. Look, look at, oh yeah, baby. look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Can yeah, we? Can, how can we get? Up, can we jump up there? Yeah, or climb? Uh, oh, we got it. Oh, look at that. He's got a stick. Tickle? He's gonna try to tickle it. Yeah, my hook part then came off, so. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, we got the little tape on there just enough so that way they feel the texture and they kind of try to climb onto it. There we go, yep, yep, yep. yep. I think a little bigger than I thought. Wow. Oh, he's stuck. Hang it up. Oh, close to, oh, 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 oh. And it's that's great. Oh. Oh, he's so feisty. Ooh. Juvenile male. Look no at that colors right there, yet. Check that out right there, y'all. Oh, he's a little Guys, clumsy. That's, just, that's those instincts, fight or flight. Look at him. He's taking right flight. We got First him. First time ever seeing human contact. First time, right? Kind of yeah. has something in his mouth, too. Yeah, look at him. Wow. Oh, he's changing color. Look yeah, at like him. a black thing in his mouth. So, guys, it's it's absolutely insane. He's like the, the type of animals yeah, that are living out here in the Everglades. You hear myths and, and stories about big snakes and weird lizards and stuff. And, guys, we're actually out here. And, and we have two specimens in hand. Two of them. Look at that. that look at this bull. Eat look, that one. look at that bull right there. Look. That's like an alpha and this is like a baby. Are these the same species? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. These are the same species. This he's is jumping. just a more dominant male. He's just, uh, he's sexually, he's, mature, he's, yeah, he's sexually mature. Has his full colors going on. Oh my goodness. Ready to reproduce. And, and this guy right here is, this guy is just a little baby right here. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what we would call juvenile. Female, hey. So with chameleons, their first instincts are fight or flight. Nine times jump. out of ten, they're going to take flight. Okay. And so whenever they do take flight, we don't see it. But as they jump, when they impact, they exhale. Huh. So, so it like lessens their fall. That's because their number one predators are birds. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's their little natural little instinct is to jump. That's their natural instinct. They up like little blues. Yep. And dur and during the day, these things are, have like they can basically change their colors and just like yeah. During the day, for the most camo. part, you can see them relaxed in what you would call like a natural color, which is pretty much the same color you see that he's showing with Tara, but just not as vibrant. That's their relaxed color. And so they're mostly throughout the day, they're just moving around, trying to eat, trying to find water. Look at his tail. <laughs> Look at his tail. Does he have a prehensile tail too? Or does he uh, use yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's it's actually, like semi-prehensile? Yeah, this is actually, they use it just for hanging. And if they try to fall, they grip with it. It's like a fifth leg. Yeah, so he's grabbing my finger. This is insane, dude. I mean, I've heard things about these type of animals living out here in Florida. I didn't realize that they are actually out here in the Everglades, y'all. Huge shout out to our guides, y'all. So far, we got two of them. In the bag, we got a baby, we got a we got a nice adult. We're with Tara, we're with our friend Matt, we're with our friend Travis. We're gonna put some more in the bag. Stay tuned. You gotta step over here. Oh, step over him. Him. oh yeah, yeah. We can grab him. I might be able to just walk up and work him. Go ahead, go ahead, do your thing, Matt. Yeah, do your thing, Matt. Oh, nice, fire. He's up here, right? Yeah.
Yeah, he's going. He's at the end there. Oh, there he is. Nice. Nice little mouth. I've seen the big ones with a red big cast. Hell yeah. Another another juvie? Yeah, another juvenile male. Male heavy tonight. Oh yeah. That is insane. Look, he's opening his mouth right now too. He has like purple to him too. And and they can get obviously a little bit uh defensive and, and try to defend themselves as well, right? Oh yeah. Are they equipped with decent decent teeth and stuff like that? Uh it's more so like a bristle. Like a okay. like a like a solid okay. almost like a calcium bone, but it's just like one solid little piece of bristle. Obviously, you want to respect him, though, and, yeah. not, and not let him... Uh, hey, you hear that? Him. It was like a cicada or something right here. Oh, really? I heard it buzzing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's what is it's it? A, it's a dragonfly. Oh. So, guys, check it out, y'all. Sleeping dragonfly. Third chameleon of the night. This guy's pretty <laughs> feisty right here. I can feel him gripping. And and would he eat something like this in the wild? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. probably. He's he's that. That. For sure, It right? just depends on if he's quick enough to catch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and how hungry he is, right, oh, yeah. and, what, and how he's feeling. Oh yeah, because they don't hunt at night. They're only sleeping at nighttime, so it's they're more so predators of opportunity if they can fit in their mouth, they'll eat it. This is really, really cool right here, man. Like Matt, where where's the origin of these these particular uh, chameleons? I would from? say these these chameleons where they're actually from their country is Yemen. So yeah. North America is the only country that calls them veiled chameleons. Every other country calls them the Yemen chameleon, which is where they the, the Yemen made chameleon from, and yeah. that and that's somewhere in Asia, I'm guessing, right? Uh, no, more like close to Saudi Arabia. Okay, so that's... It's actually in Saudi Arabia. Wow. Yeah. So these things actually came so like a pretty... how Florida is the state and Miami is the city, yep. Saudi Arabia is the country and Yemen is the city. Okay. So it would be more so like they actually range from Yemen. Okay, and, 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 and these guys basically came a long ways to get yeah. here. Well, they, and they, we they haven't all... had veils imported to the States in almost 20 years. So nine times out of 10, any veiled chameleon you see for sale... Is, is, I'd say 80% comes from Florida wildcat population from people that have class threes that collect and sell, or they come from the small lineage of breeders that still breed from imports back in the day. Okay, okay. So, so there's there's no need to import them because they are they, yeah. they there is populations well, no, because out here. Saudi Arabia is now a war zone along with Iraq and Afghanistan, so there's no more imports on reptiles from Saudi Arabia as gotcha, far as, as, gotcha, far as my knowledge. Okay. These are what you would call trickle spots. They've all stemmed from one or two main source locations over a span of 30 years. Hey, buddy. There we go. Double up is what we call that in the fishing industry, right? right. Double up. By the way, y'all, this is real footage right here. This is not doctored or this is not staged. We're actually out here in the Everglades our friend Matt and our friend Travis y'all we're like we might as well just you know meet up with some guys that do this oh T what's that T oh Ooh, yeah look at that <laughs> oh that's a big one is that Matt? Yep. Dang, Matt is in that tree like that. Like he's he's dang savage. Look at that. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, you got up there quick, bro. You got him? Oh yeah. That's a big one. That's what we came out here looking for, dude. Yeah, they got a teal, 15, 15. a teal uh, cast. Yeah, Damn. that's what you would call high teal. Mm. Yeah, shout out to Travis. That's a good find right there. Yeah, that's wow. A good that is a stud, Don't get better dude. better than that. That is a stud. We moved on to our fifth chameleon real quick, and it's just a matter of just like a couple minutes, couple steps. Um, Matt, can you tell us a little bit about this guy right here? Well, I'd say he's a pretty good dominant male. Probably a good breeder out here. I'd say he's about 14 to 15 inches. Well, will these actually fight with other males like iguanas? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say iguanas, but other males for sure. No, I mean, will they like fight like iguanas, like oh, like yeah. for breeding season oh, and yeah. stuff, like territorial. territorial. Stuff? It almost looks like he has been in some kind of engagement already, because you can see his mouth. Yeah, look at that! Wow, he's feisty. He's trying to bite you right now. Oh yeah. Is there, do they breed like year round or through the um, I'd say, season? I wouldn't say they breed during winter, but I would say they breed during spring, summer, and autumn. Okay, cool. Basically, females can have up to two or three clutches a year. 
and, and, they can breed and what do the uh, the clutches consist of? Um, roughly fifteen to thirty. Eggs. Eggs, yes. And do they lay them or they? Yeah, they, they lay them, and uh, they actually take six to nine months to incubate in the ground. Really? Yeah. Wow. So that, that's why it seems as though they hatch year round because egg egg uh, like the eggs are being the, dropped the, different the times. Yeah, the incubation and yep. rate is it all varies. It all varies. Wow. Size, how big the breeding pair was. A lot of things that go into some, it. Some can lay up to 80. To yeah, up to 80, females. depending on. See, there's some females that can get this big, that, but it takes them a long time. And the mates. This is the nuts. We got little That's little guy, thing. daddy, daddy chameleon. This is pretty cool, right? Been doing this for a while. I mean, you've never seen anything. This is like a this lifetime, before. life, life come yeah. true. Oh like, my god. Dream come true, dream, right? Yeah, yeah, dream come true. Yeah, edit. <laughs> we I mean we we've dreamt about this. We've talked about this. We've we've wanted to do this and we're actually out here doing this. And it's really only possible, y'all, because our boy Matt, man, he's he, he took us out. But here's the crazy thing, just as you guys heard before, our boy does guided hunts. Matt, tell us a little bit about the hunts, man. So I mean, I try to keep it fairly cheap for everybody because I know a lot of people come down and they visit. And Florida is one of the best states to do any herping at for almost any species. We have the tokays, we have day geckos, we have all the non-natives and all yes, the invasives. Mm -hmm. So I only I like to charge small flat rate fees and take people out on safe trips, man, and keep you guys safe and put you guys on legit chameleons that are actually growing up. <laughs> yeah, we got our cameraman right here. He's like, where's the small one at? <laughs> like, it's on your head, buddy. Looks like he just got out of shed. Okay, I'm sorry, what was your name? One more time? Cheyenne. Okay, we have Cheyenne right here, y'all. We're in the middle of the Everglades, y'all. Cheyenne says she spotted some. Cheyenne, what did you see? What do you see? Uh, I think it's a chameleon right over here. If you look, he's sleeping. He's low. Right now, really low. Dang. So he's in a real cozy position. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, see if we can get that guy. He's clinging tight on the tree here. Nice tree. Nice. Here he is. Oh, he has orange to him. Oh, yeah. It was a chameleon. Wow. Ooh. Oh, he's a, he's a little jumpy. Just now waking up. If, if I couldn't, you know, tell myself, like, I would have sworn that was a leaf right there. Just the way he was curled up like that. Oh, yeah. And, like, the silhouette of his body and stuff. But, yo, it seems like you've been doing this for a while, huh? Yeah, not too long, but uh, definitely long enough to be able to yeah, spot them. Yeah, you got an eye for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good catch, yo. They're pretty and, great. And, and that's another male, right? Um, yeah, it is right here. Literally picked this chameleon off a plant like it was a flower. That's insane, y'all. That's insane. <laughs> another one in the bag. He does. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yep. Tickle, tickle, tickle. tickle, tickle. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> it's okay. Send him on a little tumble. It's okay. Look oh, he's him. mad. He's mad. He's mad. There he is, yeah, right there, mad. guys. For sure. We got the precious. Look at him. Look at dang. Look how big his gullet is for that size. Whole what do what do they eat, dude? Literally anything they can fit in their mouth. Is it true? It is it true that their tongue is like scorpion from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> yeah. Get over here. Get over here, right? Yep. It, it extends, I believe, half of their body length. That is insane. Look at that. Wow. Guys, this is an unreal experience right here, y'all. And we've already gotten several, several interesting specimens right here, y'all. Guys, this is incredible, man. All different sizes. I was going to be happy just to catch one, but we've gotten multiple of them. Look at them. Wow. And we just woke them up from their nap. So they're a little grumpy right now, okay? That is so cool. You're making a bouquet? Oh, he's mad. Oh, yeah. He is mad. He wants both down together. They start getting mad. Look at that one right there, dude. This is insane, man. See, look how look at the color change between the two, and the color patterns. This is, this is insane, dude. Both male veils. High yellows and then that high turquoise. They pray. They'll get up on their hind legs and sit there and stick their hands out and pray. Hallelujah. Look at watch, him, look watch, watch. Yeah. Pull them apart. You from your hand? Oh, he would have prayed. Here you go. Let him pray, dude. Matt, Travis, y'all, putting this on, y'all. The veils are out here. We are out here. And we're gonna put some more in the bag. Hey, buddy. Wow. Is it a big one? No, it's a little medium. Oh, oh nice right medium. There. Medium size. Let's see what we got going on. 
Yeah, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Oh man, this is this is cool, man. We're out here. <laughs> oh man. We've been up that hill a couple times. <laughs> you, can, you can see our steps. Another one. Another one. Another one. We the best. <laughs> we are the best, y'all. Y'all are y'all are yeah. Yeah, first female. No torso. Yeah, that is the first female of the night, actually. Yeah. They've all been males. That's the Real quick, can you, can, you just, can you just show me how to tell if it's a female or a male? So, at the back of the foot, foot right here, where it separates. Ooh, I thought she was grabbing me. You see where the back of the foot right there separates? Yeah. yeah. Where it is spread apart it should this be a way. Heel, like at a the little, back, there will be a toe. Yeah, it's called point. a tarsal spur. You see the difference? See his toe? Yeah, okay. His toe, she doesn't have a toe. Ah, so that extra toe. Yeah, it's it's called a tarsal anymore. spur. Okay, another cool. Cool, cool. Hey, they spotted another one, y'all. We got another one. Guys, the Everglades, y'all, this is the wild side. This is what dreams are made of out here. Yeah, where are the native animals at? We found a female spot. Oh, nice, another little female. I haven't even seen a green and gold. Yeah, I've seen a couple of sleeping brown. Oh, it's good. Nice. Hey, she's green. just pure green. Yeah, she's pure green. Oh, that's that's usually how yeah. like yeah. Yeah. most of the young juvenile females are. They usually all stay green until they have like eggs in them. Unfertile or fertile, because they're like chickens. They can lay unfertile yep, eggs too. Exactly. And then people don't realize that they go if, egg bound. Yeah, they go yeah. egg bound, which is where they don't feel comfortable enough to lay, and the eggs fill up the respiratory system. You gotta make breathing. sure you lay eight to twelve inches eight of dirt. dirt. Yeah. Eight to 12. There's a big male in this tree. That one's too little male. Another one, another juvie. Ooh, ooh, he's feisty. Oh, yeah. It's like they wake up and they're just like, they just want to fight or flight, right? Yeah, he's holding his own wrist right here, too. This is crazy, y'all. I ain't never seen nothing like this, man. And we're out here just killing it, y'all. Couple questions for you. Guys, I don't know what number we're on. I think we're just going to say we're at number 10. So, number 10 in the bag. We're going to see how many more we can catch, all right? Let's go. Yeah, I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right there. Let Tara find it. A little deeper in there. That's really. Yeah, but that is a, that is a pretty a young one. I'd say he's about two months old. Look at him. Oh, oh woke him up. Mm -hmm. And that's a female. Yeah. yeah. Yep, young female. Wow, you learned something new. Nice. And and you say that, okay, wow. So this is this is a, this is a, a baby right here. How how old do you think this one is? Number eleven two months. Two, two and a half months. Guys, number eleven is just a. You said it's a neo. Yeah, we call them neonate. neonate. So anything younger than three months or three inches is about what we would call neonate, which means it's freshly hatched. Wow. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Those eggs are about that big. About that big. Yeah. So he was like rolled up. She was rolled up in there. I would have yeah. than I'd that. I'd say for the first four to five months, they grow about an inch a month. And then every month after that, it's about three quarters of an inch to half an inch until wow. they reach adulthood and slow down. Once Start they reach sexual down. maturity, growth rate kind of oh, yeah. stops a little bit. Down. But because they're out here in the wild, there's really no size limit on how big they can grow. You know what I mean? There's no... Like with fish, how you have fish in a fish tank, they'll grow to the size of their environment. Yep. They'll kind of stunt their growth. Mm -hmm. There's no growth to stunt out here because there is no... There's limit. unlimited unlimited, unlimited space, space, food, resources, habitat. Range, 100%. So there's really like no no cap limit. I've seen them up to 26 inches, which is over two foot. That's huge, dude. Yes, man. That's huge. Oh, it's a stink bug. Okay. I'm about to say, that's tiny little chameleon. So, so far we're at number 11 for the night. Caught a small baby. We caught a pretty big one. But we are still on the hunt for the giant alpha chameleon and then the super tiny baby pygmy chameleon. All right. Now, obviously, they're all the same species. But if we can find one probably half the size or a quarter of the size of what we just found, you know, we're just going to call him a pygmy chameleon. All right. And if we find one bigger than the one that we caught, we're just going to call him the big bad alpha chameleon. So... Let's keep our eyes peeled, ladies and gents. We are in chameleon territory. Oh. Yeah, oh we got a nice size one right here. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. Oh, yeah. 
Perfect. Yeah, see him up there on the palm? Right behind that palm, kind of like on the side. You want to use the pole mat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. Or you want it? You want to shimmy up that pine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the pole before we start doing the shimmy. Yeah, we're not going primitive just yet. Yeah. <laughs> and this pole or that one? Good. All right, where's he at, Trev? Okay, I see him. Oh. oh, there he is. Oh. That's a beauty. Right in the face. Look at that. That's what I would call a tangy. That no, is a beauty. No blues, all oranges in, in the throat. It's like a tangerine twist right there, baby. Absolutely. Number 12, y'all. Tangerine twist. Oh, Look. two bar, too. Oh, he's got three. So a normal chameleon is supposed to have three straight vertical bars. Anything less or more is what we would call abhorrent. So he's almost abhorrent. Dude, that is, that's wild right there. These things can change colors, I guess, based on their surroundings and their mood as well, yeah, right? Yeah, mainly their mood, but also to their surroundings. Like if they see what they would consider a predator, they'll darken up, slim up, mm. kind of hug, hug a branch and kind of tree walk the tree a little bit, tuck off. You can see he's going into stress mode, thinking that we're obviously a predator, so he's trying to darken up, take his color away, slender up, crawl down. Yeah, he is. He's he actually literally just turned dark right in front of our eyes, dude. Yeah. He went from like super fluorescent green, orange, blue, or green and orange to like almost like a darker color. He's still pretty bright, but I can only imagine just a couple minutes he's gonna turn really. Look, he's turning dark. All right, now. we got number twelve. Number twelve in the bag. In the bag. See. If it's a possum, give it to me. Yeah, if it's a possum, grab it. I want a if possum. It's a cystic, we're keeping it. Oh, fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'll come over and push you down about that snake. Oh, look, it moved. See, it's up the tree it? now. To the left. Run, Trav, run. Oh, no, it's still there. It's, it's a command. Yeah, it's a little bird. You got a cham? It's a tiny bird. No way. Yeah, it's a tiny. It's on a stick. You get a cham? Where's he going? Oh. Yeah, you got Stuck. a cham. I knew he did when he started running. Go turn basket. Oh, he got one. Oh, it was it. What is that? Oh, a big one. Don't forget the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Side objective complete. Focus on main task. Found there, Miss Terror. American Beauty Berry. Not to be confused with the poisonous pokeweed. But you can actually eat these. Oh, kind of like the uh, mulberry bushes. Yeah. I've never eaten them, but I've heard you can make like jam They stain your teeth, but they're, they taste amazing. <laughs> there's a similar one like, called a poke berry, and they're actually like super toxic. But you can, they're medicinal. You can have like one berry per like day or something, and it's fine. Shoo! We got us another one of these critters right here. Oh, flattered. Damn, bud, why would you do that to yourself? It's okay, it's okay. It's Wait, that spots. Out. That's a pretty one. That's a gorgeous specimen right there. Shouldn't have been sleeping low tonight, bud. Nope. Wrong place, wrong time. Oh, yeah, but you ain't going to sleep there again. A couple questions for you guys. That's number 13? I think so. Number 13. Another chameleon in the back. All black rabbit with a white eye. This boy just going right into the action. He's getting in there. We ain't getting away. Oh, she's been through hell. He's been through the ringer? Yeah, she's been through hell. Yep, no, nah, what it is, I think she's got the HPV or the papillon or whatever it's called. Really? Yeah, they get like tumors on them. See that tumor on her side? She... Where is she? Oh yeah, she's got some kind of uh... bump going. She's got the herp. 
Now she did. Herping for the herp lizards. Well, you know the monkeys. But see the herpes. uh, yeah, I, they're like 15 minutes away from my parents' house. I got you. But, but yeah, you see these all these scratches right here. That's mounting scars. Oh, from breeding? From breeding? Yeah, because the males would be like, "Hey, come here." <laughs> and it's like they got it rough out here. I see that, man. I see that. But that also goes to show that they are basically thriving out here for oh, the most part, huh? Unbelievably. That is insane. It's like dude. infestations, you know, the neighbors could have cockroaches, but the other neighbors don't. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. like you think about it too. What else have we seen out here tonight? Nothing. Nah, nothing. We just seen, seen these. A bug. <laughs> yeah, right. Just seen these yeah, guys. Right here. Twenty inches and bigger. They're still next to the burden up in the tree in the daytime. It's pretty cool too. It's like. Phew. That's crazy, dude. She's changing like pattern, like. Yeah, she's getting mad. That's the colors they make when they get mad. You don't want to mess with me. When they get stressed out, they turn black and purple, and they get mad, they'll get black spots. Yeah, she'll be holding eggs for too long. So look how much darker he got. Since yeah. You caught him. Yeah. That's his date. That'll I be do, his daytime color right there. Right there. That's like his camouflage color. That's what he'll be. He's all like day, awake. At nighttime, they'll get to be oh. neon. You ain't gonna see that thing during the day like that. It's gonna be very. You hard. do. Mm, you yeah. do. But it's really hard. Really hard, right? Hey, let's oh, let's bite. Oh, he's getting feisty. It's always the females that really want to bite you. Oh, yeah, she thought. <laughs> Yeah, here you go, Raj. Got a bouquet. Is this for me? This for so you. Oh, how nice of you, bro. You got me some leaves. Yep. Oh, go. wait. What is that? Oh, what? Well, what is oh, on there? Oh, there's a lizard inside there. Is that one of those veiled chameleons? Oh, look. Looks like she's had an injury. Yeah. She's been she's... in a fight. It looks like somewhat of a piebald patch, but she's just missing scales. Oh, wow. Now she's getting, she's getting angry. Come here. Look at their eye. That's insane, dude. Guys, it's definitely sustained an injury at some point in her life. Guys, Probably a bird tried to get her, or is if you look at her face, you see the difference in the eye. Yeah, so yeah, she got an injury right there. Yeah, there, there's no scales. So in yeah, the so eye. what are some of the predators out here for uh, these? Definitely things? the number one predator for these are going to be birds. Birds. It's going to be like little hawks, finches, buntings, things that get territorial or things that think they can eat them, and then probably possums and raccoons. I think I think she was hissing, dude. Oh yeah. Do they hiss? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, she's saying, leave me alone, don't touch me. I was sleeping peacefully. We're gonna put her back on these bouquets, y'all. Guys, we're gonna cut the video right here, man. This is gonna be number 15 for the night. Uh, huge shout out to our guide for the night, Matt. Uh, if you guys wanna come out here and experience this. Oh shoot, uh oh. Oh, well, she just gave me a little love bite, it's okay. If you guys want to come out here and experience experience this firsthand for yourself, hit up our boy Matt. Matt, what's the best way for uh, some people to contact you? Uh, you're just going to want to add me on Facebook. My okay. Facebook name is going to be Matt. Oh, M A T T. Okay. Last name is going to be Vaughn. V A U G H N. Okay. Or you can find me on my Facebook group, Southwest Florida Exotics. Okay. That was the number one way that people used to uh, get a hold of us, and uh, the group's been a little inactive at the moment just because of COVID-19 and everything yeah. that was going on, you know, but we're finally past that pandemic down here and we're about ready to open everything back up. So everything's looking really good. Dude, I really, really appreciate the time that you took out, man. You took us out and, and, and you, you know, you, you told us something, you definitely lived up to the promise, man. Our, one of our biggest things is we wanted to, to experience seeing, observing and catching these creatures into the wild. Usually it's like mythological, but dude, but you, you made this a reality for us, bro. Yeah. So if anybody yeah. out here is visiting Florida and you guys want to come out here and catch you some chameleons, hit up our boy, Matt. We're going to put all his information in the description down below. Matt, let's put this guy in the bag and I, uh, we have another job to go to, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have another location to go check out. See if we can't uh, go, can't find some uh, different color phases. Okay. Maybe get some more tangies, maybe get some high yellows and oranges. See if we can't get on some uh, more higher quality more high quality uh, specimens. Uh, specimens. Yeah. Awesome, dude. All right, guys, we're going to cut the video there. Like, comment, hit that red subscribe button. It's the Iguana Man. Huge shout out to our boy, Matt. Yes, sir. Hit him up on Facebook if y'all want to come out here and see these gorgeous creatures for yourself. He offers tours. And, um, it, you know, it, 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 trust me, guys, it's, it's family it's, safe fun. You know, family safe fun, man. Family so safe. we're going to wrap it up here, y'all. Like, comment, hit that red subscribe button. We will see you guys on the next video. Let's go, bro.